enter the arena in our co-main event of the evening from the blue corner, Mariana Kayfish! Mariana K. Fetch, 25 years old, Danbury, Connecticut native, did go to the University of Miami, has worked with American Top Team, and now is with the ATT branch in Danbury, as she makes her way into the cage for the first time as a professional. And guys, you talked about earlier, has an amateur Muay Thai fighting background. And if you say you hit like a girl, then you want to hit like K. Fetch, because she out hit a lot of the guys when we mean open tryout to get here, as you said, it was open tryout. She fought against the men and was impressive enough to get an invitation here. You know, absolutely. You know, it's a little deceptive, too. You've got to understand that Thai boxing in America, there's really very little difference between the amateur and the pros on the thing. The rules are basically the same. The time limits are the same, you know, for the girls. So, you know, she has a lot of experience. Not only that, but she's been doing martial arts since she's nine years old. So, and I'm sure she's been competitive, you know, in at least the semi-contact, which is still gives you experience, uh, you know, as, you know, in competition. So she actually is coming in here with a lot more competition than you would think. And Kay Fetch ready to make her debut. What a big stage it is. Her opponent has been here a few times before. And her opponent in the red corner, Kim Couture! never had a fight that hasn't made it to national TV. <laughs> this is her fifth fight. As she mentioned, her debut we showed here on HDNet. Obviously, Chris Cyborg Santos is in a total league of her own with everybody. Yeah. With Gina Carano maybe, maybe not retired, whatever happens with her movie career, I almost would say Kim Couture for the broad sports audience outside of the MMA world is as about as known as anybody else in the women's division. Yeah. Well, you know, and, and she's, she really is a really good representative of it. You know, she's a smart businesswoman on top of being a dedicated athlete. She's coming late to the game, too. It's not like she started this when she was 10 years old or anything. She did. She started this when she was in her 30s. And, uh, you know, it just shows you uh, really her dedication. She had a very tough first fight. Very tough first fight. Uh, which showed a lot of courage. She had a broken jaw very early in the fight and fought the whole entire fight with that broken jaw. Her nickname's Sugar Free. Not that she may not have an occasional candy bar, but she sugarcoats nothing. She tells it straight up. <laughs> and there you see the age difference obviously jumps out, but the pro career of Couture at 2-2 two and two in the debut for KFETS tail of the tape roughly even as far as the height and the reach. I'll tell you about k -Bet. She does not look nervous. She is a natural show woman here. I mean, she knows, she knows how to, how to work this crowd and stuff, you know, because this is, uh, this is show business. I mean, it's a fight, but it is show business. And she knows how to put on a show so far. We'll see how she does in uh, the actual athletic part of it. Back up to Christopher for the introduction. And ladies and gentlemen, here we go right now. This is our co-main event of the evening. Fighting out of the blue corner. She's standing here right now. She's a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu artist and Muay Thai. She stands in at five feet, five inches tall, and weighs 135 pounds. Fighting out of Danbury, Connecticut, representing American top team, Mariana Kingman! Standing across the cage in the red corner. She stands in at five feet six inches tall and weighs 135 pounds. She brings a record of two wins and two losses from Las Vegas, Nevada, and the Tap Out Training Center. Kim Sugar Free Contour! And when the action starts, your referee, Chris Adams. All right, ladies, remember the rules we went over earlier. It's the co-main event. I expect a good, clean fight. 
act like the professionals that you are. Any questions? Touch gloves and let's do this. I think k Fetch grinned a little bit when they said, act like the professionals you are. She <laughs> said, I've been one now for about two and a half minutes. They're wandering around this ring and we're ready to get to action. Scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Couture has been working more on her boxing. We know that, uh, of course, when she was with Team Couture back in the day, and everybody knows about her former marriage to Randy Couture, that she had a, a ground game and was working on that, and she says she's going to be a better boxer this time around. Kfetch comes out swinging with the feet, and that's not a surprise. I thought she's throwing the much straighter punches. Oh, nice. These ladies are throwing. Couture will come right back at it. Neither backing down. Kfetch continues to deliver some kicks. You, you know, I'll be honest, uh, they managed to get two of the prettiest MMA fighters going at it, and they're, they're not going to be so pretty afterwards because they're nailing each other. I'm like, holy smokes. It's almost enough to make me cry. They sound too much like Matt Hughes now. <laughs> There's a nice, a nice straight right go to it. Yeah, that, that hurt. I can tell that hurt because Kevin is not moving forward right now. Couture's best punch was that straight right. She got caught with a good counter left hook though. To the midsection goes k Fetch and delivers. Again with the kick. k Fetch has been affected throwing her kicks. He got some good pop in him too. I'll tell you, uh, Kim can't let this uh, let these kicks land like this. She's got to start blocking them. Because after a while, they're going to start taking the toll. And she lands a nice right. That's Couture. A straight on front kick is there for the aggressive k Fats, who is very poised for this, her pro debut. Yeah, she's, like I said, she has a lot of experience in martial arts. You can tell she has. She's not, uh, she's not shy. She's not losing her composure. She had a good shot in the eye though. You can see her eyes a little bit swelling at that left eye. She took a nice pop there. She keeps blinking at it and tells you have a problem seeing it. Almost 80 strikes thrown between the two so far. Couture goes in and clutches up behind the head as they go toward the fence. But she's not throwing the knees. She needs a great deal of knees before. Before she hits. Oh, she's got good position on her there though. Kim needs it. You know, she waited too long to throw this knee. She needs a move. Oh, there's the right. K-Fetch has her down. K-Fetch has Couture in trouble. And she moves in. She's got her in a triangle. She's got her in the triangle. Oh, and she gets out of the way. Kim Couture tries to hold on to the right. Couture gets her in trouble. She's got to get her head up. She's got to get her head up and her arm out of there. Mariana K-Fetch in her debut. Trying to hang on. She's telling the referee she's okay. And she taps it. Oh my gosh. K-Fetch wins. K-Fetch trying to choke victory over Kim Couture. Certainly one to keep an eye on in the women's ranks. Mariana K. Fetch, the 25-year-old, with an impressive pro debut. Ted, that was an impressive one. fight, yes. period. These girls were throwing down. It was a good fight. Boom. Oh, right on the chin. That right rocks Couture. Oh, yeah. And K. Fetch, sensing it, jumps right into action. has that triangle in deep now. Yeah. Well, she turned the wrong way. She, right there, she has a better chance of getting out of it, but she, she kept turning into it. About 30 seconds earlier, Couture thumbs up that she was all right, and then k Fetch just sank it in deeper, and that was the end of the night for Kim Couture. Well, this is a, you know, this is a heck of a great start for k Fetch's career here, you know, because this is no... Uh, no slouch. Kim Couture is no slouch. She's you know, a she's tough fighter, and for everybody that'll Twitter and say negative things,